It's part of our history. The mission of the Military Memorial Museum in Ardmore is simple. Preserve and display military history and honor the men and women who've served. We go back from the war with Mexico, the westward expansion, World War I. Of course, there's the Civil War I missed in there, but World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, and we have uh, artifacts from Desert Storm, Desert Shield. After 32 years, 5 months, and 29 days of service, Rear Admiral Wesley Hull is a wealth of patriotic knowledge, and he's happy to share his stories and our country's history. We have a uniform of all seven of the uniformed services of the United States, and most people think there's only five services. There's five armed services, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, the Coast Guard. But then you have the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps, and you have the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Commission Corps. To my knowledge, this is the only place all seven are displayed. And we have the service flag and a brief history of all the seven uniformed services. All those seven uniformed services are Title 10. I can tell what was actually hands on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. I was there. And uh, in a foxhole most of the time, but anyway. In 1945, Corporal Glenn Mitchell stormed the shores of Iwo Jima. He lost friends in the bloody battle and was witness to history. He talks about the moment soldiers raised the American flag on Mount Sarabachi. It was a hilarious moment for us that were close to it. I was probably less than a quarter of a mile. And. Um, Hooping and hollering, and the uh, ships were blowing their horns, and it was a hilarious time for us because we had, had our butts kicked for Florida, and we now have a toehold. We knew we was going to take that island. Little did we know that we had 30 more days of hard combat. The museum tells the story of America through photos and memorabilia, replicas and artifacts. Just to preserve the history. Master Sergeant Pam Nelson volunteers at the museum each week and reflects on her own 22 and a half years of service, some of that time spent in Iraq. Pup Tia and I slept in and of course it would always rain and sand and there were two of us that had to fit in those. So. Um, didn't enjoy that, but that brings back a lot of memories just to come in and see the mess kits because we used all of those. And... But we always want to have something for the children. And we've come up with plastic rifles, a helmet, and a hand grenade that the children can actually handle. And uh, when they put the helmet on or they lift the helmet, they realize what our soldiers have gone through. The helmet is quite heavy. And they say, oh, that's much heavier than I thought. But like we tell them, those rifles, if they weren't plastic, they were heavy. And then for those soldiers, may have a 60 to 80 pound pack on their back. So they're quite loaded down. And of course, currently they may have the Kelvar vest is another weight that they're carrying. And I love this, it's something really special. The Hall of Honor is local heroes from every branch of service. The soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, they have performed a service giving all Americans the freedoms and liberties that we enjoy today. And we have all of that history displayed here so when they come to visit, they can see what previous to us have gone through in protecting our country and giving us the freedoms and liberties. And to all those who've served, we thank you. In Ardmore, Tina McGarry, Discovering Oklahoma.